Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and this is my May TBR. So I don't normally do monthly TBRs just because I am a mood reader. I like to be able to pick up whatever I want to pick up and just be more flexible than a TBR will allow. But this month I have a lot of things going on. So I have a partial TBR. So this is not everything I'm going to read in May, but it's some of the things. So there are also two readathons going on in May that I'm going to participate in. The first one is the Light versus Dark readathon and that is happening tomorrow, Friday, May 1st through Sunday, May 3rd, and I will link my announcement video below. Um, I also have already done a TBR for that, so I'll link that below, and I am not going to talk about any of those books because you can watch it in that TBR. Then Readorama is also happening May 17th through the 23rd, I believe, and I'm not going to talk about those books specifically because I haven't made a TBR for that, so I'm not sure what I'm going to read for that, but those books are not going to be included here. So what is left is just everything else that I'm going to read throughout the month. And again, I normally read like 28 to 30 books uh, a month. I mean, somewhere in that upper 20s, low 30s range. So I'm going to tell you about nine books today. And obviously I'll be reading more than that. But here is some of what I'll be reading. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is Buddy Reads. I have quite a few going on and I'm so excited about it because I've just been doing them like constantly lately. And I love it because it's just a chance for social interaction. It's uh, fun to hear other people's perspective on things. And it just makes the reading experience that much better for me. So I'm doing four of those this month. So the first is Sugar Daddy by Lisa Kleypas, and this one I'll be doing with Tia from Tia and All the Books, and I will link every channel I talk about below. And so Le uh, Lisa, <laughs> Tia and I are going to be reading this toward the end of the month, I think, and this one is about, I think, a love triangle. A girl is like with this guy, but he's kind of a bad boy, not really supposed to be together, and then he leaves town, and she has her sister or something or to take care of. And she meets the sugar daddy, this guy who's like a billionaire or something. So it's her choosing between the other guy and the sugar daddy, I think. So that's what this one is about. I've only read one Lisa Claypest, and it was Mind Till Midnight, which is one of her historical. And I was not a huge fan of it. So I'm going to see how I like this more contemporary one. And... Then go from there. I've got one other contemporary on my shelf, so this will be a good one to try and see if I like her at all or if it's just I just picked kind of a miss for me. Next is The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves. And I'm doing this one with Krista from Books and Jams. I'm not sure when we're doing this, but um, this one is like if I was doing five star predictions, this would for sure be on it because I love Tracy Garvis Graves and I love second chance romances. And I think this checks both of those boxes. This is about a boy and a girl who meet when they're young. I'm not sure if it's like high school or college or how old they are, but they're, she's very, very shy. I think they meet like in a chess club or something. And then years later they meet back up in New York and um, I think they're both living there and it's a second chance romance. So really excited to read this one. I've heard nothing but good things. Then I'm going to read The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. And I'm reading this with Karen from Rather Be Reading. Um, I've been doing a lot of buddy reads with her lately and I just love it. It is so fun to hear her perspective. And so this one is about a girl I think who kind of like had everything planned out, had an internship lined up, had everything. And then her dad, there was some sort of scandal with him, I think, and so she has to um, become a dog walker, and like things don't quite look how she thought they would, and so this one is just perfect for this time of year. It's YA, it's sweet, it's just easy to read, it's really big, but these books always fly for me because they're just, you can eat them up super quick, they're super adorable, and perfect, perfect spring books. So we are going to start this uh, Monday or Tuesday, uh, the 4th or 5th, and so I'm excited to read that one. The next one is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Now, I'm doing this uh, buddy read with Kelly from Cozy Reader Kelly, and I thought I had it on my Kindle, but I was wrong. I have Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng, so we are waiting for me to be able to get it in from my library, and I'm on hold for both the ebook and the audiobook, so whatever comes in first but I have heard our library is going to open up on Monday, May 4th. And so if it does, and I can get a physical copy, 
I'll do that too. It's like whatever works the quickest. But I know that book is so popular right now because of the uh, Netflix show. And I don't know if I'll watch that or not. Depends what I think about the book. But I'm really excited to pick it up. I've never read anything with Kelly. And also just see what all the hype's about. So I've never read either Celestine. And so that'll be fun. So those are the four buddy reads I'm doing. Then the one book club I participate in every single month without fail is Kendra from Kendra Loves Books and Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads. They host Book Talks After Dark. And I think it's the last Tuesday of the month. So maybe the 26th, I'm not sure, but they do a live show at the end of every month. And this month, the book is My Favorite Souvenir by uh, Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward. And now I've heard Vi Keelan and V Keelan. And so I looked up, um, I think it was on Goodreads. She had like an interview and somebody asked her, how you say your, how do you say your name? And she said, I say it's Vi like Vi. And so Vi Keelan it is. So this one is about a girl or a woman who goes on some sort of like vacation she just got broken up with or her, her relationship just ended. So she was supposed to take this trip with her boyfriend, fiance, whatever it is. She takes the trip by herself. And it's one of those trips where just like everything goes wrong. So she gets there and doesn't have a hotel room. She overhears this guy like kind of weaseling his way into one. And they pretend to be siblings. And then, um, so I think it's their adventure. They then take a road trip and collect souvenirs. And I don't know really a whole lot about it, but... That's the basis, and I'm excited because I've never read that author duo, and I've heard good things. So that one will for sure get read by the end of the month. Then I have two NetGalley books left, and they neither of them come out until August, but I don't know when I'll have this baby. It'll either be the end of May or early June, probably early June. So I think I've got this whole month, um, and I just have no idea what life's going to be like afterwards. So juggling a newborn and a two-year-old. I'm not sure how much reading will get done. So I want to get these off my net galley shelf um, just in case so I don't miss the date of reviewing them. So the two that I have are Louisiana Lucky by Julie Pinnell. And that one comes out August 4th. And that's about three sisters who think if they could just win the lottery, everything would be great. Well, then something happens and they do. And so they win the lottery and I think they sort of realize that money can't buy happiness and it's their story. So I thought it would be interesting. I love sister books. So that one is that. Then uh, Little Disasters by Sarah Vaughn. This one, the blurb on NetGalley is very vague and I am excited because it's a thriller and it's a motherhood thriller, which is something I really, really enjoy. And I guess it's about one friend who thinks her friend is like this perfect super mom. And then something comes out. She finds out something about her friend that changes her whole perspective. So I don't know what that means or what that entails, but hopefully a good thriller. We'll see. And that one comes out August 18th. So I'll be reading both of those a little bit early, but rather safe than sorry. Then the last set of books that I'm going to be reading are finishing series that I'm going to start at the beginning of the month. So I am in my Light versus Dark readathon. I'm going to be reading Visions in White, which is the first in the Bride Quartet by Nora Roberts. And I'm the type that I have to marathon books, like a series. I have to sit down and read everything. I don't know why. I just, I can't stop and start. I don't enjoy stopping and starting. So I want to, if I read Visions in White at the beginning of the month, I want to go ahead and just finish it all through. So that means three more books. Uh, I think these are in reverse order maybe, but Bed of Roses is, um, yeah, Bed of Roses is number two. Savor the Moment is number three. And then Happy Ever After is number four and these are all all four are about a group of friends four friends who start this wedding planning business and they all do different things within the wedding planning business so um the first one's going to be one of their stories and then these are the other three friends stories so those are on my tbr and then finally puddin by julie murphy now i'm reading dumplin for uh, the Light versus Dark Readathon. And this one I know is more of like a companion, I think. Um, but it's about two girls. One is overweight, one is like Miss Perfect, 
and their unlikely friendship. So I'm really excited to read that too. I like books with good plus size rep. I don't know if those are good plus size rep or not, but hopefully I have heard pretty good things. I'm reading Dumplin'. So I, I think I've talked about this before. I am a terrible movie watcher. I'm a terrible, like, I love all the adaptations that are happening right now. But honestly, I have watched like one and I just can't. So this month I'm reading quite a few things that have adaptations. So hopefully I will spend some time doing that. But I just would rather read the story than watch it. And maybe Little Fires Everywhere because it's a show, I think, um, with shorter episodes. But like I loved uh, Big Little Lies and couldn't make it through the show. I just didn't like it. And I don't know why. So I don't know, one of the weird weird ways in which my brain works. So that's my TBR, um, two readathons plus these nine books, plus whatever else I decide to pick up. I am so excited to read a lot of these things, and that's it. So if you have read any of them, let me know. If you um, are participating in the Light versus Dark, there's still one more day to sign up. So do it, do it, do it, and sign up for the Light Side because at last check, Light Side was down by like, nine people or something. And I am so, 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 so competitive that I think I'm going to start reading at midnight tonight and like do everything in my power to get as many points for the light side as possible. So if you don't, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, watch my announcement video below. And if you haven't signed up, please do sign up for the light side, earn us some points. Let's see if we can do this. So that's my made TBR. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.